Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the G.I. Joe Renegades Law & Order figure. Now, get a good look at them here in the packaging. Very nice looking here. Of course, um, they come with quite a bit of gear, which is really nice. On the back of the packaging here, you can see some very nice box art. And the read-up says, Law works as a prison guard with his canine partner, Order. A rookie at the prison, Law is honest and fair. He refuses to join the corrupt warden and guards who hold illegal cage fights between prisoners. Law and Order encounter the renegades when Duke is arrested after being mistaken for a member of a chop shop ring. Up here are some of the other characters available from the renegades line, or 30th anniversary line if you prefer. So, um, awesome looking figure. Enough said about the box. Let's open him up. And here we have Law and Order out of packaging. Um, very nice looking, as you can see here. Of course, the only accessories they're not holding his baton, the um, same little pair of handcuffs that came with the Renegades Cobra Trooper, which you can actually put on a, another G.I. Joe figure, and his alternate gun. So, you know, not too many accessories, but, you know, most people can't order as an accessory, so nice enough. Um, this does appear to be a, well, this actually might be a new sculpt, as far as the um, canines in G.I. Joe go. Because the last order we got was in the um, Rise of Cobra of Toys R Us exclusive 5 pack, and he definitely didn't look like this, so... On second thought, yeah, this does appear to be an all-new sculpt. So let's actually pull that out of his hand, go into a detail here. They've done a really good job on him. Of course, you can see, especially on the vest, which wraps all the way around. Um, of course, no articulation on order, just the leash, which is coiled. Now, as far as law, get a look at him here. I've, of course, got his helmet and his little riot shield on. Very nice job on his vest there. Of course, he's actually got a alternate handgun over here with his silencer and a revolver. Couldn't see those from the inside of the packaging, but that's definitely nice. Always good to see another revolver issued with Joe's. Of course, his shotgun over here. Let's actually pull that helmet off. Of course, um, you can just see how it slips over the helmet he already came with, which has the little military police deal on it. And, yeah, I'm not going to be able to put it on until it's back on his head. Of course, the shotgun. Standard base, just as law and order on it. Now, as far as articulation, um, you do actually sacrifice a good bit for his vest. Um, it is removable, but, you know, standard deal. I think, you know, he's going to look a whole lot better with the vest. So, um, your main torso articulation is sacrificed. You still got left and right and up and down at the head. Arms on a ball joint remain relatively unhindered. Of course, bend and spin at the elbow. Spin at the wrist with, yep, <sighs> hinge. Always nice. And, um, as we draw ever, cl um, ever closer to retaliation at the time of making this video, street date for the figs is roughly about a month away. Um, you really got to appreciate how good these guys are compared to the amount of articulation they're cutting out of retaliation and, you know, just some other general things. Not to say the line will be bad, just that these are some real gems. Of course, at the leg, forward, back, and out. A little bit hindered by the pouches on this side. This leg is unhindered. Um, double jointed at the knee and have an ankle joint. As always, those knee pads are removable if you wanted them to be. I mean, wanted them to be off. So let's actually bag him back on here. Let's get order back over here and into his hand. Yeah, but um, they've done a really good job on a character that, um, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't like him, but it's hard to get excited for him. Um, I was like, oh, look, a generic cop figure to go in my G.I. Joe collection. And I was really impressed by this guy, to be completely honest. Um, he beats the crap out of the law and order we got with the Rise of Cobra set from the G.I. Joe movie. Speaking of which, give me one second, we're going to get that out here. And here we have Renegade's Law and Order in comparison to Rise of Cobra Law and Order. Now, as you can see, um, just the difference between the dogs alone is enough to warrant this guy as a better figure. But um, this guy got the very standard G.I. Joe military outfit. Um, you know, he came with a riot shield that's all banged and scratched up, which is nice. That's about it. Of course, the military police logo. See, so, yeah, just a very... I liked him when I got him, but as time goes on, he's just a very blah figure. Um, he goes well enough with my Rise of Cobra display, but that's about it. Now, as far as looking like he did from the cartoons, this guy really doesn't succeed. Um, most of the um, Renegades figures, as I've already said in past reviews, look like they belong more with the 30th anniversary tagline than the Renegades tagline. That is not really a bad thing in my book. Um, the one Renegades looking figure we got is Scarlet, and she sticks out in my display, just her cartoony face sculpt. 
Um, not to say she's bad, one of my more favorite Scarlets, actually, but this guy, I think, is a great rendition of the character. Beautiful detail. I mean, I'm loving how they've done it on the badge, um, all the various weapon straps, a fantastic job on ordering his vest. This guy, this line on um, Wave 5, this line came out with a Zombie Viper. Um, actually, a little bit easier to find. I found it a couple of times in store. Law and Order is one of the easier ones to pick up. So if you're a G.I. Joe fan and maybe you skipped over this guy the first time, you definitely got to pick him up and have him in your collection. And that being said, this is J-Train 997 and I'll see you soon, YouTube.